Giovanni Fabi is an architectural uh, firm founded by Ambra, Ambra Fabi and Giovanni Giovanni, based in Milan and Brussels. The studio works nationally and internationally in the fields of architecture, urban research, territorial visions and design. So we welcome the last speakers of the night. Bye. So, yeah, we somehow defined 
we said, okay, we will work on the on a big territorial vision on the on the main infrastructure networks, so the motorway, the a river that runs on top, uh, a former uh, non-existing uh, anymore uh, railway, and so on. We will uh, somehow cross this valley, so from the hills to the river, three times. Uh, in correspondence of the three reservoirs that we find in our plot, and uh, we will find locations of project in these three sections, and we define we will define three focus projects: F1, F2, F3 on this map. I will present here. I mean, this is uh, the main map from Tirana to our limit. You see the river on the top, and there are three uh, reddish, uh, pinkish uh, uh, groups of projects. We define the three sections. Uh, I'm presenting here for you only one of these focus projects, the one that we have worked and we have brought till uh, final design. It's a project which is still in the uh, drawers of the Tirana municipality. Once up, one day they will take it out, maybe they will do it, but we came to final design. So this is a small uh, model we did for the Chicago, Chicago Biennial, but I don't remember anymore. But, uh, uh, in which uh, one of these projects, one of these sections, is uh, uh, pictured somehow. So we have from the hills, we have this uh, reservoir, and we have uh, this list, this group of uh, reddish objects. We define sort of a path which brings us from this reservoir, which we want to be uh, designed to be transformed into an agro, uh, agro uh, urban park because it's a uh, reservoir uh, which is uh, on the very limit of the Tirana municipality which you could uh, reach by bike potentially if you imagine to reuse the former rail track as a bike track something that they are doing now uh, in uh, 15 20 minutes so a very very close uh, uh, recreation park which we wanted to develop with the minimum amount of uh, gesture possible so this is the uh, final our part of our final design. So uh, we have uh, the, I use this. This is the dam of earth that keeps the reservoir. So the reservoir is there, it's full of water, but it's not used anymore, but it still drains water for the nearby territory. We proposed a, a line, which is a path encircling this uh, lake. And we proposed, this set, we proposed a series, so the nature of this line, and a series of uh, objects, which are some kind of focuses which uh, enabled, I mean, in our opinion, made this uh, lake into a park, which could be recognized in a park, could be used, could be used by the people from Tirana who wanted to have a, a day or half a day out. So these objects are a bit bigger here, but I mean, there is, of course, the dam, of course, there is a, there is a bar, a small that was was already existing there, there is a diving platform, there is, a, there, is, there is another floating platform, here we have a couple of collages that show how we have foreseen somehow this uh, use uh, of this abandoned lake. We have to say that why we have this idea, because we were there, we, we walked a lot in this territory, we worked with the photographer Stephanie Graziani, and we did this section with picture, and we <coughs> discovered a lot of uses. So the people were already bathing in that place, they were jumping from the border of the, of the lake, and so on. So we said, okay, this could be, in our opinion, developed into uh, this kind of thing. It's, it's somehow resonating with what we are doing here with the students. So here is one floating platform for kids uh, making a training with the sailor boats. And then the, this is the real competition collage that we used, that we put in our, the one we did afterwards. So we are, we are close by the airport. Uh, we have this. Uh, uh, plat diving platform and uh, possible exploitation with minimal <coughs> objects, this kind of run, uh, swimming tracks uh, just inside uh, the lake. Giovanni was showing in the previous project, actually we are interested in uh, searching for the minimum set of elements to provide, to make architectures. So for instance, like in this uh, image of Canaletto, it's the Scuola Grande di San Rocco, it's, it's, the, it's a live festivity, festivity 
um, lead to, to Sarocco. Um, here you see that the, the, the architecture of the festival is done with very little elements, which are these uh, this, um, uh, this, this very thin poles and this fabric, and that's it. In the same way uh, as in Metaphore of Sotsas from 73, um, um, what you see here is really uh, the minimum you can do to make, to provide a, a space for party. This, this, um, um, this image is called Non tutti possono disegnare la vita come una festa. And here what you see is that what you need for making a party, it's actually these four poles which define a space. Uh, this ornament, which are the guirlands, the guirlands, and the wine, and the bread, and the and the and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and um, so in the same way, um, we did the project of this party design, which then brought into designing a few pavilions in Brussels. So uh, this is the competition project. It was in a way, um, it looks like a very messy project, full of forms and full of uh, um, explosed forms which meet one to each other, and, but all the elements are there. So there is the, the perimeter, uh, the cafe, the, sta the stage, and the, um, the distillery. It was actually, this festival was called Fat Design, and it was around the, I mean, around the, the theme of the essential garden, and the um, essential garden um, meant um, uh, physical, so really around the, the aspect of nature. So they have been building here um, a kind of essential garden. They were testing in this distillery the, um, all the kind of uh, uh, distillations which were rather alcohol-based, oil-based, but also they were, the idea of distillation was also, was also cultural, so it was also very wide in the terms of um, problem. But then, of course, we had a very big uh, budget problem, so we had to reduce and to squeeze in all these elements in one object. So the, but all the elements were there, so in a way there is just this perimeter, the, a set of furniture which touches this perimeter, uh, and a roof, a roof which can open and close um, according to, to the different programs and according to the weather conditions. Um, so on the left, this tower is the distillery, the, distiller, the, the distillery, but also a drying um, tower. So from here, the, um, yeah, the, the, the plants could, could go up and take the wind and, um, and get dry. Then there is a bar and uh, a kind of seed library. The whole idea was really to use this, uh, this, this uh, pavilion day and night and to really find the ways to, to always use it differently. So these, uh, these, these furnitures would, would contain other um, elements which we drew together with the decorators, which are the London-based um, collective, which then uh, during the day, according to the different programs, would spread around and um, populate the space in a different way. That's the, the distillery tower. Um, the decorators also were doing a set of clothes which people were really dressing while uh, were uh, actually taking part of these workshops. So the funny uh, festival which took the whole summer and uh, they did all these kind of workshops of uh, plants and the kitchen and um, you can see the, the roof open and closed. Um, and then this Actually, this festival was very successful, and what actually did, also on a urban level, was that made discover to people the fact that there is this possibility to use public spaces, public parks in Brussels, because actually there is not at all this uh, this culture over there. And uh, so, the actually the the public institution which manages the parks, which it was actually the main client for this festival asked us to provide, to organ, to think of a set of dismantable kiosks, which then would be um, used in the parks every, for a few years. Well, that's the activity of us. Well, so that's in a way, I think, 
complicated version of the, of the previous work. Of course, the distillery, the, the seed library is not there anymore, there is the kiosk, there is the roof. Um, and actually, how to create a family of, of, out of these, uh, of these, um, of these elements is uh, to maybe to, to, to change the size of the things, so the, the size of the roof can be bigger or smaller according to the to the to the side, no? to, to, to accommodate the context and the color of the which actually is the color of the of the structure and of the interior of the bar. Um, well, that's the result. <laughs> um, these five pavilions which always change you know, very much due to just two very little elements, so the color and the, and the size. Um, but everything in a way has been drawn to be really the most meaningful as possible with the set, with the minimum set of uh, elements, as in a way we were talking about also with the project of our venue. And so, um, for instance, the roof, which is this uh, very simple sliding uh, fabric, by being uh, so much too, la much too large, it creates this uh, special silhouette of the, of the building, which is very visible. But, and also at the same time, um, it uh, resonates with the, with the weather conditions and makes it become very, very much alive. And also the way the panels of the kiosks are done, since we had just these very simple panels we have to mount on, we tried to, to design it, I mean, in a very simple way, but also in a way which would become um, yeah, meaningful, like almost like a small classical building. And, uh, and then um, to. Wait. Yeah. And then. And also the clear of the building, when the build, the, this kiosk would open, it would reveal another color, and just by the, this very simple action of uh, just putting out one color all over, this would uh, really give a very strong uh, character to this very cheap, very basic kind of construction. Every time, very different in a way. So here you see the back of the panels, which by doing, get, we were forced to, doing, to do these frames for security reasons, but we took it as a way to, um, yeah, to show our drawing, to show the design of it, even though it was necessary, but we made it even more visible. Um, and then a, a small set of elements like this lamp, um, these, these three lamps of the interior, which create a proper interior in the night, and uh, this, this moving lamp, which becomes uh, like for the Sotsas um, uh, picture, like the, the ornaments, which then populate the space and makes it become a place for all the parties. Uh, 
will be going on second year. Uh, for that project, new, pro new products were uh, tested, so uh, like the avant-garde of uh, Italian industry at the time. So this is a CD product, or like a compact CD game, concrete, made with bundles and so on. Uh, still produced uh, nowadays, relaunched nowadays, you know, or the Pirelli floor, this gummy floor that was uh, uh, then uh, widespread uh, all over. So uh, this is uh, our first, uh, uh, I would say, detective uh, tour we did with Giovanni Silva, with the photographer of our uh, with us the installation, and uh, they are completely illegal images because uh, we did it to get the, the we, we were really escaping the police of the macro in order to do that, but it was. But our idea was to uh, somehow take the project and uh, build a family of objects to transform this urban project into a domestic uh, environment. So to imagine that each one of those material, if treated, uh, taken, if, if taken uh, seriously, so in the sense that uh, every material becomes an object, and uh, this could, uh, uh, in a certain way, create a family which uh, is a, of completely new objects but with a lot of memory uh, inside. So this is our first collage, so uh, one of the first collage, maybe the final first collage, let's say, in which we set it that we decided that with uh, uh, this material, the CD board, which is, this is a Cadorma station or Porta Venezia station, I mean, there are three possible mix, mixer which are used in the central station. We, we had to design a table, pretty big one, uh, quite heavy, uh, but uh, yeah, the, the important thing is making one material. Uh, and with these other two mixes, we did the other sm uh, smaller uh, objects like a coffee table and a side table, so this are, which, are, which are much smaller. Or uh, uh, with this, this is already line two, in which uh, this city board, very expensive, was placed by Metal, uh, uh, metal, uh, metal sheet, but embossed. So in a very specific way, uh, with a very specific print. So of course we had to go through all this uh, thing uh, legally, trying to again uh, find the, the right color. And they're all uh, different actually. And uh, we transformed these uh, panels into a uh, screen, shield, baraton, parabeno, in Italian. Or uh, this is a specific one, which is uh, a metal, uh, metal panel, which is used only in uh, uh, Sesto Marelli, one of the last stops, because this, uh, this uh, station was bombed in the 90s. There was a bomb which was <coughs> there in the 90s, so they built it in a different way, and they used that. We transformed these metal panels into a cabinet, so we, we did, we did an hexagonal cabinet, and this is uh, one of the and finally, uh, the, the firm, the, the signature of Aldini, Aiga, Norda, of the metro, which is the, the, the rail that brings you around the, the metro in Milan, of course, uh, has been uh, transformed into uh, that. And these are all out of focus, but uh, all of them uh, together in Milan for the salon. Thank you very much. <laughs>